The recent tab here in your files app on iPhone or iPad is a handy place to get access to the projects and the files you've been working on recently, but there's some problems with recent and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Let's go. If you're newer to iOS or iPadOS or just need a refresher, the Files app is where you can access all the files both on your iPhone or iPad and on your iCloud drive, as well as files from all the other apps that have access to the Files app. So for example, here's my iCloud drive folder. And if I go into my GarageBand for iOS folder and open a project here, what's going to happen once I open it in GarageBand is it's going to save it to that same location. So we're going to load it, it's going to open it up. Let's say I make some changes to this and then I save it by tapping in the top left. Now that that's saved, it's not only going to save here in the folder, but it's also going to show up in our recent tab. But there's a problem. See how there's this little timer? It's not actually going to show up in recent until it's actually re-uploaded that. So that's kind of the first floor with the recent tab. If you're doing something here on your iCloud drive, it won't instantaneously go to recent. And that's one of the reasons you can sometimes not find the files you've just been using in your recent tab. The other thing that's confusing about the recent tab is that even though it's here with all of your other folders and locations, it's neither a folder nor a location. It is just a list of recent files. And to find out where those files actually are, what you need to do is tap and hold on them and then tap on the get info button. And this will tell you exactly where it's stored. If we scroll down here, you can see this one is in iCloud Drive under my download folder. So that's important for a lot of reasons, especially the reason I'm going to describe to you now. And that is that you can't move or copy a file into the recent tab. If we tap and hold and try and drag this, it won't drop there in recent. If we come down here to these folders, it'll drop no problem because these are actual locations. So just keep in mind that the recent and also the shared are not actual locations that you can use. And that's important for things like what I'm going to show you now. Recently in another video, which you can conveniently find in the description or linked at the top there, I showed you how we can take any video file and using a created shortcut, we can convert it into an audio file. But here's the problem. If recent is your default location, location here in the files app, it looks like it won't work. And a lot of folks have come to this point, they've followed all the instructions, and then they're going, I can't save it. It won't let me hit the open button like you showed me, Johns. Well, all you need to do is come down here to another location actually under your location section here, and then you'll see there's the open button there. So if I want to just say save this in my downloads, I can actually do that by hitting open, and there you go. It is job done. So the golden rule here is use the recent tab. It's very handy for opening recent files and projects. But keep in mind, if it's not showing up here, it may still be uploading. And if you're going to save a file, you always want to actually navigate to the location and actually save it directly to the folder. Hope you found this one useful. If you'd like a complete deep dive into the Files app to learn everything you can do from file compression to moving to copying to editing your locations, check out the other deep dive video linked in the description. And I'll see you next time.